Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tabitha. Here is a place where you can learn how to sew swimwear. I am a swimwear designer and swimwear creator. I also have other sewing tutorials. So if you would like to learn how to sew, you are in the right place. In today's video, I am going to show you an easy, simple, quick way to make a bikini top. So let's get into it. Here, I chose a stretchy polyester fabric, four-way stretch. I am using a template that I purchased, a pattern template for the bikini top. And I folded the fabric so that I can cut through four layers. For a bikini top, you need a lining and an outer fabric so that it is not see-through and it is supported. And the reason that I chose the same fabric is just for simplicity, just to make it easier. So now that I have my four pieces, I clip them all together and I take them over to my sewing machine, my serger sewing machine. So I have both of the sides clipped together, the inner fabric, the outer fabric, I place them the right sides facing together. So the printed fabric is facing each other and I clipped them together. Now I am taking some swimwear elastic and I am going to sew it onto the sides of each bikini top piece. I kind of eyeballed it. I did not use an exact measurement. You may want to measure the sides of your bikini and see what length you would like. Just for simplicity, again, I am showing you a quick, easy way to make a bikini top. So I didn't measure. I kind of eyeballed it, leaving space for the top opening and the bottom opening. The top opening is where the bikini strap for around the neck is going to go through and the bottom opening is going to be for the bust strap that's going to go around the back. So as I am closing the sides of the bikini top, I am also adding the elastic. It gives it a sturdier construction and it also gives it a more professional look. Because I did not measure it, I do have to cut some of the elastic in some places um, because, like I said, I don't want it too close to the bottom or too close to the top. I want to leave a little space so that I don't have a bulky finish when I turn this to the right side. I'm just cutting off the extra threads as I go along. So that is the top opening. I'm just making sure it's completely open. And now I'm going to the next side of the bikini top and doing the same thing. I am serging it together. If you do not have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch on a regular sewing machine. I like to use the serger. I just feel that it gives it a more professional look and it the stitch is a lot more sturdy with the serger and it's just quicker and easier to use in my opinion, but I do use my regular sewing machine um, in this construction of this bikini top and you will see that later on in this video. So I'm closing both sides, adding that elastic as I sew along.
cutting off any excess thread. Now I'm moving that machine to the side. <clears throat> you can see I have my straps that I already did so and I turned them inside out. So I have the neck straps and the underbust straps already done and ready to be used once I finish the bikini top pieces. I'm moving now over to my regular sewing machine and I'm going to use that to insert the top straps into the top of the bikini and I'm also going to use that to sew a strap channel through the bottom of the bikini top. So I'm just off camera, I'm preparing the bikini top. Um, I put the strap through the top and now what you're seeing is me using the regular heavy duty sewing machine on a straight stitch to secure the top of the bikini the strap to secure it down. Always reverse, of course. I went over it about four times. I'm cutting off the excess thread. I also cut off the excess strap that was sticking up from the top. And then I turned the bikini top to the right side. So this is what it looks like, guys. So now I'm going to take that back over to my serger and I'm going to sew that bottom opening. I'm going to serge it closed. But before I do that, I'm going to secure down the second bikini top strap. So I'm just preparing that and then you'll see me sew across to secure the top strap down just like I did for the first one. So I'm going to sew across there. I inserted the bikini strap. Reverse. Go forward. So I went over several times just to secure it in place. Cutting off the excess thread, cutting off that top excess piece of strap, and now I'm going to turn this one to the right side. And I'm moving over to my serger so that I can secure the bottom of both of the bikini tops so I can sew them closed. Just cutting a, off a little bit of the excess fabric. Again, I, you know, am trying to show you a quick way in under 10 minutes to create this bikini top. So there was a little bit of excess fabric that I had to snip off because it was not perfect when I was cutting it quickly. And now, as you can see, I secured the bottom. I'm going to fold it over so I can make that strap channel for the bikini underbust strap. So I'm just adding the clips so that I know where to sew.
I'm going to sew across there on my regular sewing machine with a straight stitch to secure that down. And that is how I created the bikini top that you see. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see how I created the bikini bottom, the shorts, please stay tuned and watch the next video because I will be uploading that video shortly. And if you comment below anything that you have questions about, I will get right back to you. If you have any comments about what you saw, let me know. And please share this with anyone that would like to learn how to swim. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be alerted to my future videos that I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy sewing.